Hey guys, um, it's Good Friday, and uh, today I'm standing in front of this house right here, which is the house that I grew up in. Um, I lived here from the time that I was five until I was about 18 or 19. Uh, Trace and I got married in the backyard, and um, this is it. So I'm standing here in my neighborhood, and you know, when I was here, when I lived here, I had no idea that I would move to California. I had no idea that I would become a Christian. I had no idea what God had in store for me. I didn't know um, the good things that were going to happen, the, the bad things that were going to happen. I had no idea about any of it. Um, but here I was thinking that I knew. You know, when I left here, I thought I knew what my life was going to be like. But the truth is, I didn't. I had no idea. And the reason I came here is because I was thinking about how on, on this Friday, this is the day that Jesus was, you know, going in the trial and then he was crucified and then he died and he was buried. And the disciples had no idea what was going to happen next. You know, we get to look back and we get to see the book of Acts. We get to see everything that happened, how the Holy Spirit came and moved through and just did amazing things. And we get to see the evidence of 2,000 years of faith in Jesus. Yet the disciples at that time on that Friday, they had no idea what was really going to happen. Just like I had no idea when I lived here what, was, what my life was going to become. But God knew. He knew what he had in store for me back, back then when I lived here. He knew what he had in store for the disciples on that Friday, and he knows what he has in store for all of us. So as we take this moment just to breathe and think about what Jesus was going through, I want you also to be sure that you're thinking about the faith that God has given you, the mustard seed of faith that you have that you can just trust him with. You may not know what is going on in your life or why certain things are happening the way they are, but you can trust him. And if you will, if you will just trust him and wait and see, God will bring about great things. God is in the business of bringing back things from death to life. He redeems the things that are broken and makes them work again. That's what he did in my life. That's what he did with Jesus. And that's what he will do with all of you. So I hope to see you tonight at the Good Friday service. Love you guys.